And today, I check out my micrometer. Hi guys, how are you going this week? Because um, last week I've been searching up and down the Thingiverse pages and I came across this uh, micrometer here by Lieutenant Dan. Uh, I thought it was pretty interesting and I, I like finding things that have got a, a bit of a practical use to them and uh, just wanted to 3D print it and see how it works. What I found is the I printed this at about 1. Point, a 0.16mm resolution and it came out absolutely awesome. I think uh, it's, um, it's really, really crazy. Uh, if you look at actually all the numbers, how clear they actually printed out. It's really, really cool. And I like the, the effect that he's made on here for the handle. To, um, it's, 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 a, it's a really good grip and it comes out in really nice detail coming around there. Uh, he's, done, he's done really well with the um, building the file for this. Uh, so what we need to find out now is, is it actually practical and um, can we really really use it to measure uh, different things? So what you need to first learn is how do you even use it? What, what sort of mechanism is he used to try and um, get this to measure? So what you can see is it goes all the way back here. His highest measurement on this, uh, the metric version of it is uh, 30 mil. So uh, what you do when you measure this, you go all the way back down to zero. You can see that in there, so it's just a tad off on the zero. And what I found is if you, um, as you scroll back, he's got increments every two and a half millimeters. So if you notice this, each one of the increments on here is two and a half millimeters. So what he's done, and then on, on the main dial, it's actually got increments up to 24 millimeters. So these here actually recommend um, are actually point of a millimeter and that there's one millimeter or 1.0, 1.1, 1.2 millimeter. So you add that to this measurement. It's kind of a nifty little way of designing it to make it so it's simpler so you've got less markings on there. What I'll get is my awesome little laser cut butterfly here. Uh, normally it's, it's made out of 3mm MDF, but the MDF isn't always exactly right on 3mm. Sometimes it's 2.8, 2.9, sometimes 3mm. So what we'll find is we'll put, wind this back, put this inside of here, close it up. So we're looking at, so yeah, you don't try and jam it in there. You make sure when you wind it up, you only just sort of finger tight until it just sort of just holds like this. You don't want to force it around because then it just gives you a wrong reading. So what you've got here is because it's gone past that second mark there, that's 2.5, so each one of these is point off of that. So 2.5, uh, so it'd be 2.678910, so that's 3 mil, 3.1, 3.2. So 3.2 mil, and to see if that's even accurate, we'll do the same measurement here using my vernier calipers and what they come up here is 3.27 so it's fairly close to being accurate that may have got just depends on how it sits and wherever it all is that could have just taken up a little bit of slack so you want to measure something a little bit differently um, what I've got is this uh, acrylic block here that I've made uh, with, I've got a laser cutting the text on the on the front side of it as well as some here on the on the back side of it there uh, It looks pretty fancy um, so we just want to see how thick is this block and If I just insert that into there just lay that down nice and firmly and Where's the firm gonna end up just there? That's it. You don't want to make it too tight So it's still able to move a little bit there. So what we're looking at is it's almost there to the 10, so the uh, 10 mil would be up there. So basically, if you go back the other way, you could probably just minus 0.1 of a mil. So 0.2 and 0.3. So we're looking at um, probably about 9.7 mil. Um, or if you go the other way, you can go 5 mil, 6, 7 and a half. Oh, sorry, I'll get you a little bit closer here. So if you're looking at 5, 6, 7.5, then 8, 9.5, 9.6, 9.7. So 9.7 mil thick. 
So we get that into a pair of micrometers and actually get a little bit more better reading. So we're looking at 9.7. There you go. So it's fairly accurate. It's actually, it's not accurate. It's only accurate down to the 0.1 of a millimeter, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, and up, here's a little box that I've 3D printed. You'll probably find this uh, one here on, on, on Thingiverse uh, as well. It's just a little cap, little, uh, little box to fit whatever you want into it. This has actually been scaled down by about a half factor from the, what the Thingiverse file is. Um, and what we'll do is we'll put that in there. We'll just see how thick the overall box became. And if we go all the way out, in there, there you go. So there you go, it's pretty much right on the, onto a zero. So it's actually 25 mil thick. So if you look in there, 25 mil thick because you can see it going right up to the 20, 25, to the 25 line, and it's on zero, so 25.0. So. Check that again with the micrometers. And 24.98 mil. So pretty accurate. I've obviously, you still want to use uh, digital micrometers better um, measure things really, really precisely, but at least this here gets it down to, to 0.1 of a millimeter, which is uh, fairly accurate. It's still a little bit of variation. You can you could probably over tighten it a tiny bit or under tighten it because there's a little bit of flex in all the plastic and, and the thread inside of here. In fact, I'll even open it up all the way down and I'll just show you the way it created the thread in here. So if you actually look inside of there, the thread's pretty awesome. And then on side of that. It's actually a very nice file, uh, so I'm really happy with it. Well, there you go. There was the uh, micrometer by uh, Lieutenant Dan. Uh, you de I'll put some links to below into the um, for on Thingiverse, um, and you'll be able to three D print it yourself. We'll probably see you next week with uh, something new, and uh, make sure that you like, comment, and please subscribe because there'll be heaps more awesome stuff coming. Thank you. <laughs>